Hi, my name is Chris Conley. I'm a professional motion picture and television editor, and like many folks over the last couple of years, I've been working from home. Um, <clears throat> my work, uh, in particular, requires that I have at least three monitors, two for the desktop and one for a client monitor output. So I've been using a 2006 Mac Pro for years and years and years, but recently, because I'm also interested in trying to do a little software development, and I want to be able to use the most current tools uh, that all run on Monterey operating system, I've had to look at upgrading my system. So I just got in the mail my brand new MacBook Pro M1 Max computer. And I want to make it my uh, all-in-one computer for both personal use and work. So in order to get all the connectivity that I needed. Uh, I need to have fast Ethernet, so I wanted to have an Ethernet port. Um, I wanted to be able to connect external keyboards uh, and of course the ex, uh, external monitors. I started looking into uh, Thunderbolt uh, docking stations. And I looked and looked and looked and the one that ultimately I decided upon is this QGEM. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but QGEM. Uh, Thunderbolt 4 docking station uh, has all the connectivity that I want. It has an Ethernet port, uh, has several USB 2 and 3 port, uh, it has several uh, Thunderbolt 4 ports, uh, all operating at full speed. Um, it also has SD card and some other things. So uh, hopefully it works the way I want it to. Uh, I've got a little downtime with the President, President's Day holiday here, so uh, although I'm in the middle of a project and I hope this doesn't bite me in the keister, I'm going to go ahead and spend the next little bit trying to hook this up and see if I can get it to replace my other system. Uh, so, interestingly enough, um, although I'm working with professional editing software, the way the work is working for me right now is actually through a, almost a, I guess, a remote office type setup, a remote desktop. Uh, our show, actually the dailies are on the Universal Studio lot. And I just drive the Avid remotely from my office. So while I can't really even tell the difference, it looks like I'm using Avid Media Composer. It's actually just a, a remote desktop proxy of what's actually happening on the lot uh, 15 miles away, which is just an interesting little tidbit. Uh, but because of that fast graphics capability and uh, fast internet is paramount. So hopefully the Ethernet uh, port on this thing works and uh, that the, the graphics capability of the laptop is fast enough to run the three monitors. So Without further ado, I'll dive in and see if we can, uh, I'm just going to hook it up and then we'll talk about what I did to make it work and how, you know, see how it works a little bit. So uh, it won't be a long video, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of heads up what it is I'm doing. Okay, well, first things first, I uh, plugged the Thunderbolt 4 dock in and connected it by a single cable to the computer. And the very first thing I did was hook up the Ethernet cable and it connected immediately. So that's a good sign. Uh, and then I also was able to check the internet speed and uh, I'm, I'm hitting the one gigabit Ethernet. It's clocking in at 900 and change right now, which, which is great. Uh, more than enough for what I need to do for work. And I am ecstatic. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got a USB hub that I had all my keyboard and webcam and uh, several other USB 2 type devices connected to the old Mac Pro. I'm just going to disconnect it from the Mac Pro, plug it in to the back of the dock, make sure that I have my keyboard and my mouse. And then from there, I'll start working on the monitors, which is hopefully also going to work swimmingly and without huge problem. So uh, onward and upward. All right, so I actually managed to make it work, but it was not uh a insignificant little process <laughs> it actually took a while um, the first thing i needed to do was to download the display link manager software uh, the manual does say that um, it's a little bit of a tedious process because under with monterey especially there's additional permissions and things that need to be 
executed in order for that display link software to work properly. But I finally managed to get it to work. And the way it works is that I have a single Thunderbolt 4 cable going from the laptop to the dock. So at the end of the day, and the nice thing is that uh, Thunderbolt 4 cable also charges the laptop. So the laptop is charging all day. At the end of the day, when I'm done, I literally disconnect the single Thunderbolt 4 cable and walk away with the laptop. And then tomorrow when I come back to work, plug it back in, away to go. Um, so I have two Thunderbolt 4 to HDMI cables that are running the two desktop monitors. And then I have a, uh, an HDMI cable that runs to the client monitor. And then by going into the display settings, uh, I was able to set it up so that the left monitor is this one. That's my now uh, main display. The, this next monitor is the one to the right. And then this uh, third monitor is my display monitor. And this fourth is actually the laptop display. And uh, it, it's working well. So that device is working great. I'm getting good bandwidth on the ethernet connection. The rest of my USB cables, which are granted are a mess right now, but um, I've got it set up so that everything, my webcam, my keyboard, my mouse, and my USB speakers are connected through a single USB hub, which I was using before because I have a desk that goes up and down. So I wanted to just limit the number of cables that I was running down to my Mac Pro. That same hub works fine. I just took the cable and plugged it into that uh, dock and everything fired up and started working immediately. Keyboard, mouse, webcam I've tested, uh, which we're all using now for our Zoom meetings and whatnot, and the USB speakers. So by and large, uh, super pleased. I will probably do a, another follow-up here in a day or two when I confirm that it has continued to work and that everything is fine. Tomorrow's a holiday, but after that, I'm going to start using that laptop as my sole computer. And uh, so I'm going to work on it the next couple of days. I guess that's it.